everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Melissa, and we're here with part two of this closet clean out. And last episode, we finished the pants. We pretty much, oh, we did all the tops. Kind of did like more than half, I would say. So I probably have like a quarter of this to go through still. The shoes and the bags won't take that long, but the bathing suits, I have so many bathing suits to go through. But if you're new here, please subscribe and check out my Instagram. It is at Threads Obsessed. And also check out Shop Threads Obsessed where you can shop my closet and check out my Depop. It is Melissa. Eight. Um, yeah, so the Shop Threads Obsessed, make sure to give that a follow because if you're Canadian or American, you can, or anywhere, you can see what I drop earlier than usual on Depop. Does that make sense? You can see what I'm dropping basically. And then if you are Canadian though, and you don't want to purchase in USD, you can purchase off of Instagram by just sending me a message and we can do a little dealio. So definitely check out Shop Threads Obsessed. Also check out my TikTok is Melissa Taddy and my podcast is Unthreaded. But without further ado, let's get into closet clean out part two. Coffee. Okay, let's start with the bathing suits. Okay, here's the first one. It is all black. It is kind of basic. It's thrifted. They're actually two separate brands and pieces. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. This one, they actually came with the tags on still. Super cute, full coverage. And we love that for when I go swimming with my boyfriend at his house. It's super cute. I love the ribbing of this. Here's the next one. It is so cute. I love this one. I'm going to keep this. It's not as full coverage, but it's, it's not too, too bad. I love the white. This still has a tag on it, and I think I got it like two years ago. Companies like Zoffel, Shein, Romwe, they always send me bathing suits. So I always have a ton of bathing suits. This actually never fit me a few years ago, and now it fits me. It was way, way, way too big on me at one point in my life. Now it fits me, so yay to new discoveries. Okay, next. This is so cute. I don't think I have worn this one. There's a lot of them that I literally have not worn because I live in Canada, so, and I have not been on vacation for like a year and a half at this point because of the COVID. Not full coverage at all, but a really cute moment, you know? We love, I love this cut. This is one of my favorite thrifted suits. It's very full coverage, very classy, very 90s. I love it. It's, did I say it's thrifted? It's thrifted, but we're obviously keeping this one. This is really good. I love this one. I've had this one for like four years at this point. However, the bottoms are a little bit snug. They're a little bit small and obviously there's no full coverage there, but the top is super cute. I don't know. I think I might get rid of this one. I haven't decided. This one is also so freaking cute. I love this. Again, not full coverage at all. I love the top. I wish it was a little bit more full coverage because I would be able to wear it a little bit more purple. And I love the like the shape of the top. I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, here's the next one. I think that this one is thrifted. So I think probably somebody ordered it and they were like, if they had bigger boobs than me, which a lot of people do, they were probably like, holy this is not gonna fit the tatas, but this one's cute. I've had this for a while. I think I'm gonna part with this one to the to the parting pile it goes. Okay, here's the next one. I'm going to part with this one. Makes you like hella tanned, but the bottoms are way too small for me. This is so cute. I'm definitely keeping this one. I kind of forgot that this existed. It's from Aerie originally. This is so fire. You need to have this in your wardrobe. She's covered a little bit. I love this. This is cute. This is sexy. This is classy. I'm kind of here for it and I kind of love the pattern as well. Ooh, sorry, can I help you? I'm on my way to the beach. The fit is really good, but I just don't like the color. What do you think? I'm just not here for the color for some reason. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one's also a keeper. I have so many of these that I had from like five years ago. They do not fit me anymore. I need to just get rid, like this is gonna break. <laughs> Okay, I also really love this one too. Okay, I'm gonna go through them quickly. I'll show you them on the screen, but I'm gonna go through the rest of them because there's like a ton more. So you'll see all of them, but I'm just gonna have to talk, which you probably enjoy that anyways. <laughs>
remind me to stop buying these bottoms because they're so unrealistic and I don't know why I have so many bathing suits with them. <laughs> I don't know if I just look at the top and not look at the bottom, but this top, however, I remember I bought this bathing suit specifically so I could wear this top as like a top. So I'm going to keep the top because this is cute for like just with some like, you know, jeans for a little casual night out vibe. Or like if you go to the beach, I could get another pair of bottoms, like just a better fit bottom. But if you go to the beach, you could like wear this as your swimsuit and then go for lunch. Like it's like a two in one. That's kind of what I was thinking about this. So, okay, we didn't get rid of too many, but I have all of these that I'm keeping and then I'm getting rid of all of these, which it's a decent amount. So that's what happened. That's what, that's what we were doing. So now I need to organize them to a drawer. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is pack all of my coats up into some bins and put them away because it is summer time. Hot girl summer, hot girl summer. Hot. denim jackets how basic is this but it's so cute I'm gonna keep it we're putting away all of the jackets and hopefully I won't have to take them back out for a while yeah this is such a gorgeous one too from Aritzia just so essential you know like you just need one of those in your wardrobe this baby is nice burb a nice burb she's thrifted as well i actually love this jacket so much but i don't wear it it's actually a men's guest jacket it was really expensive it was probably like a hundred dollars when i bought it but i think i might part with it just because i haven't worn it in so long this is like a really good levi denim jacket it's my mom's from when she was younger it is i'm sweating because i was trying all these coats on i am literally sweating and then this one's from zara i have two yellow faux furs they're different they're the same but different you know you just need two yellow faux fur coats in your wardrobe for who knows why but you do the good ralph lauren red all these denim jackets i'm gonna keep out because they're still good because it does get chilly here in, at night sometimes I need to put these blazers somewhere. My iconic Carly, super special. We love her. I'm gonna keep her out. And then this one as well, I'll keep out. I feel like this could be cute for like an Insta post sometime. Honestly, I feel so much less like crowded by getting rid of all the jackets and putting them away and like all the sweaters and stuff. This one's cute. Maybe we'll keep, well, she's a little bit fuzzy. This was one of my favorite leathers course thrifted we'll keep her out we love we need leathers sometimes out too oh we have some sweaters this is from H&M I got this so long ago and I actually never wore it which is so disappointing it's actually such a cozy sweater though so I'm gonna put her away too I should have done this in the morning it's way too hot to do this in the afternoon we have like a pink windbreaker this is a really cute like cardigan sweater I think I'll keep her out for like chillier nights GCDS sweater too. I'm gonna put all these sweaters away for until next year. This one is so awesome. It says Melissa on it. Thrifted, of course. This was like the first brand that I remember. They used to sell it at Boathouse. It's different from the other like shoe brand Melissa, I'm pretty sure, but it's so cute. So I'm gonna keep her. This huge like boiler suit from H&M that I really just never wore. I have a bunch of really cute drawers. This is so cute. I didn't even know I had this. Of course it's from Le Chateau. What? 
a freaking cute dress. I didn't even know that I owned this. This is really cute too. This was my mom's actually. Look how cute. This was also hers from her wedding. It's a little bit big in the but it's cute too. We keep this stuff. This is the cutest dress ever. I feel like little Tinkerbell in it. It's from Revolve. They sent it to me last year, but like it didn't really even fit me last year either. It's a small. I needed definitely a medium. Like it, I can do it up, but like three steps and this like my whole butt is out. Like this dress is gorgeous. It's 1990s. I'm pretty sure Le Chateau as well. This is an absolute staple for the wardrobe. This is kind of like my more like fancy, like I don't know if I need to go somewhere looks. A staple. You need one in your wardrobe and you can thrift one. They're always at the thrift store. This is like the cutest dress for like if I had a bridal shower, like a wedding shower or something like that to go to. This is like the perfect dress to wear to like something like that or like a baby shower or something but I never had anywhere to wear it yet, so this will come in handy someday, but it's really, really cute. Getting this onto my sweaty body was like horrible. This is like the most incredible dress ever. I can't move in it though, like there's no walking about to happen. This is thrifted, it's from Opali though, and I put it in my wardrobe thinking it was gonna fit me. Clearly it's not, it's a size two. I don't know, I could probably get away with it, but it's just too tight and I'm so sweaty right now, I need to get this off. Like one of my favorite thrift finds it's this green suit it's so freaking cute I love it so much I'm gonna put like my suits and stuff in here as well this dress is also everything so if things make it in my wardrobe for longer than like two years three years then it is cute and it is essential and it is special to me because I turn things over a lot like if I'm not attached to something, I can get rid of it. But if it's something I really like, like this dress, it's staying. It's just so perfect for like a vacation. I love. This is also just the cutest dress ever. I got it off of Depop. It's so fun and frilly and early 2000s and pink. And I just love pink sometimes. Like, it's so cute. This is also just an absolute gorgeous dress. But it's from Princess Polly. It's just so cute. Look how cute this little set is. It's vintage. It's so cute. I love her. Okay, I have another green suit set. This one's really cute. I love this with the buttons on here. So as you can see, I love the color green. I have a lot of sets, a lot of things in the same color. I also have this two-piece like sweat set and I think I'm gonna sell this one on Depop because I just have a lot of green things and I don't need this many green sets. Okay, I put my like leather coats away and then I'm gonna keep out like these things in case I go to like a cot. Well, I don't really know if I'm gonna ever need this, but it's kind of like a windbreaker jacket, so I'll keep it out. But this is good for if like I go to a cottage or something. So I'm gonna keep that out. I also have this Nike windbreaker, which is just black, but it's like good to have too. So I'm gonna keep this out as well. I have this like love Moschino bag. I think I'm probably gonna sell this on Depop as well. I don't really use it anymore. This is like my newest kind of thrift find I found a couple months ago. I love RC jackets right now, so I'm gonna keep this. But I don't think I'm gonna need it. It's really heavy. So I'm gonna put it away for now. I think that's going to be everything. I'm sure I'll find some more stuff that I gotta put away, but this is good enough for now. This is a super heavy leather coat, but I guess I'll just keep it out just in case like for a chillier night. You never know here in Canada. You never know. It could snow tomorrow. Here is the update. We're getting there, guys. So much better. 
than what we were at before. I just have like this to go through now. This is the cutest set ever and it is so snug on me and I'm so upset about it. But I think I have to get rid of it. Like I have to sell it on me. It's the cutest little two piece set ever. It's vintage. I spent like, I bought this off Depop like four years ago for like a hundred dollars. Like it's just like the perfect two piece denim set. It means I can buy something else, right? All right, we are back. We are up in this beach. We gotta finish off the last little bit of everything. It's not that much more to do. I think I'm gonna only be in here for a, probably an hour or so. So let's get, let's get into the last little portion of this closet clean out. I'm so excited. Griffy wanted to say hi. Louis is sleeping downstairs, of course, but Griffy just wanted to say hello to the people. Okay. I changed, I think this is what I started in the video of the last, of the last one. So might as well end it off in the same fit. Okay, look how cool this is. I got this from my mom's friend's mom. She got this in like the 80s or something to go on a cruise and she said that she never wore it actually. So this is like the coolest thing ever. It comes with a little bag. Are you serious? Like, you're not serious. This is so freaking amazing. Look at that, it comes with the cutest little bag. You know what, I've actually thrifted this brand before. It's called Orange. Oh, I love vintage tags, they're just so fun. This is so cute with the checkerboard and the stars, the, the sequins, oh my gosh, this is incredible. Definitely keeping this in my wardrobe. Something else that is a new earth refined is this cowgirl hat. I've actually been wearing a lot with like my depop looks so i'm gonna keep it because i think it's cute like cowgirl hat with bathing suit vibes is super on trend right now i'm just gonna quickly go through this last little pile and then i'll update you guys and i'll just show you a couple things as we go look how cute this is yeehaw Also forgot that I had this top. It's so cute. Obviously, I can't really tell with the other top on, but it's one of those like IMGS tops, but it's from I got it from Depop. The real question is, where is the top to this? Because this is such a cute set. She's been found. We love a matching set. I was a little bit concerned. I don't I don't like to separate my separates because they're meant for each other. We got some helpers. <laughs> I guess I do have a ton of belts. For somebody who doesn't like belts that much, I have a ton of belts, but I like love belts at the same time. Like I feel like they can add something so special to an outfit, but also like there's some outfits that just like, you're just like, I don't want a belt. So it just depends. It just depends. I do love belts, I guess, because you can see. I have some really cool ones though, like this cowhide one, which I am obsessed with. It's so cute. This grommet, which is like leopard print. This is really heavy, actually. This Louis vintage. I have this one, which is Harley Davidson, which is really groovy, funky. I have a ton of grommet belts, of course. A lot of cowboy s belts. I have this Escada one, which is really fun. Woo, 
lot of grommets, like a lot of different colors of grommets. You can never have enough belts. Griffey is chewing one of them, which is not good. Louis used to be a big belt chewer too. I think especially the grommets because the leather just tastes so good. It feels so good on their gums. So yeah, I just have a few basic ones as well that are essential. I find I love these big buckles. I love thrifting belts actually, to be completely honest. I feel like they're always super fun to have. I've thrifted like a Christian Dior one before that actually broke unfortunately, but it was really cool, a really cool find. I got these pants from ThreadUp as well. They're so fun. I'm obsessed with like Paisley print right now. And I also got a couple other things from ThreadUp. If you didn't, if you watched my last video, you would have seen. But I got this Ralph Lauren terry cloth towel material dress, which is super on trend as well. Okay, I'm gonna move the pant rack over to here. And then I'll have this big open window space for that will look in here for when I'm filming my videos, which is going to be really fun. I'm really excited. This is something I've been wanting to do for so long because I really want to start to film a lot more outfit TikToks and stuff. And lighting is such a big key when it comes to that stuff. So I'm going to move this rack over. actually hurts so much I would show you guys but it's disgusting that hanger got me a lawsuit is coming soon Amazon hangers I don't know if I'm dizzy or if it's anxiety from the blood loss but <laughs> she's deep but we're back and I have to hang the last couple pair of pants I found some more pant hangers they don't match but that's okay this hurt okay I'm gonna hang the last couple pair of pants We is making a comeback. I used to have four racks. I'm down to, and and this was completely full. Mind you, I did take away all, all the winter stuff and put it in a different room. But there used to be one, two, three, four racks here. And then that was all full. So we are making progress. I am here for the less is more situation that's happening right now. I know this is still a lot, but for me, this is very minimal of a situation that's happening and I have to go throw my shoes and bags still. Look how cute this skirt is. I just got it from ThreadUp. I'm gonna keep this one. Oh yeah, I have to go through all my shorts now pretty much. I think I only went through like half of them maybe last time. I'm not a fan of leather skirts. I just have never been the biggest into leather skirts unless it's something like very different. This one, however, is very different. It's thrifted. It's vintage 80s, I would say. It is so grungy and fun and I love how there's like the slit action. I just don't think that leather skirts are that flattering on the body at least not my body type i think they kind of just make your butt look flat but these one this one right here is super cute i can do it all the way up if i wanted to but honestly this doesn't fit all the way up anymore <laughs> so i wear it like this but this is how i've always worn it and how i like to wear it anyways so i'm gonna keep this one it's really really cute it's different it's a leather skirt but it's different you know it's not like one of those basic leather skirts that's just plain and yeah, super cute though. I love this one, so I'm gonna keep this one. Oh my god. <laughs> Next we have these orange shorts. I'm gonna keep these. I've had these for like four years. They're thrifted. I'm really into orange more now so than I was then, so I'm definitely going to be keeping these for right now. Yeah, these are Levi's. They're super cool cargo shorts that are a little bit longer. I think I'll put these up on my Depop. They are a little bit snug in the hips and I have had them for a few years and I'm kind of, you know, a little bit more over them. You know, I just want to you know, make room for new things in my wardrobe that I seriously am like in love with. So that's what I love about having a Depop is I can give these to somebody who's going to appreciate them a little bit more than I will this summer because I think that the thrift stores are opening in the next couple weeks and I'm here to make room for some new. So as you can see, I have quite a few of these type of shorts. These ones are actually a little bit snug on me now. They are reversible too, which is really cool. So they go reversible to a baby pink as well, like so. And I think that they're super cute. 
I'm gonna keep these. I As soon as I seen the baby pink, a girl loves baby pink. I am a girly girl at heart and I just love pink in general, so I'm gonna keep these. Okay, here is the next piece of clothing and I think that they are a little bit, it's a little bit small. It's this really cute skirt. It was little, they were literally way too big on me last year. I got it in an extra small. They still fit, but like, I don't know. I'm not even that in love with it. Like I'm not, I, I'm kind of over the rips. I don't know if it's the wash. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Okay, so cute. I'm definitely keeping this. I just got this um, a few, like a month ago or something from Thread Up. I'm definitely keeping this. It's a skirt. It's a skirt. Did you know, I seen a TikTok of like, a Gen Z, which I'm sure some of you guys are Gen Z's, talking about how they didn't know what skorts were and a lot of people were like commenting about like skorts, like not knowing that they existed, I guess until they were thrifting. Am I, is that chug? Is this chuggy? By the way, the new word is chug e. Chuggy, chuggy, we talk about it on the podcast, check, about, check out the podcast. So cute, I'm into it, we're here for it. This is my absolute favorite skirt in the whole entire world. So we're gonna keep it. Okay, and then this skirt, which is from Aritzia, I think I'm going to keep. It's really cute and it's good. It's like a leather tennis skirt for, I'm going to keep it for the fall time. So, and these are a perfect fit. So I'll keep these. It's always in the hips that it doesn't fit. So I can't get them, like I can get them over the, like I, they would fit me in the waist if I could get them higher, but they don't fit over the hips, so. I will get rid of them. They're from Brandy, so if you want from my Depop, you can go check them out. I've had this since literally first year of university. Like, I don't really own tight skirts like this. Like, I'm not a fan of them personally, like bodycon skirts, but that was like the trend at the time. So this I've had forever. It's cute with the little chain, but I'm definitely gonna part with it. I can't believe it still fits me. It's actually still a little bit big. No chance this fit me when in first year when I was 100 pounds. Okay, here's some of my favorites from Princess Polly. These are a really good pair of just black denim that I'm gonna keep. Okay, this is the next one. It's from Aritzia. It's a size two. I'm shocked I can even get it on. It does fit me in the waist fine. It's a little bit, a lot of bit tight in the hips though. I can't decide whether or not to give it up because my weight does fluctuate a lot. It was expensive as well, so I think I'll keep it. I can probably at least use it in some style videos. These are some of my favorite shorts ever. They still fit me. I just didn't do them up, but they still fit me and they're super. I love the mom short right now, so I'm so excited that they still fit me because these are my favorite ever. These are a hate crime. Why do I still have these in my wardrobe from Forever 21? I got these last year. They were way too big on me, and now they fit me so perfectly, and I love them. These still fit me. I made these in literally grade 12, I think. That's crazy. So usually like vintage or like mom jeans have like longer zippers and they do work for me. That's why we love vintage clothes, you know? So I think I'm gonna get rid of these though because I can't see myself wearing them. They're not really my vibe anymore. So I'm gonna part ways with them. Wait, wait, ways with them, I can't talk. That's crazy. This is the pile I'm keeping, which is like six pairs of seven pairs. This is what I'm getting rid of, which is like 20 pairs. I got my Depop, like I have so many good things that are about to go on. So many good mom shorts that just are too small for me. So and definitely I'm gonna put those up for you guys. This is the cutest little set. Ever. I just got it. It is way too hot to wear right now, but for like a cooler night I could definitely get away with wearing this. It's so cute and I love the colors. Are you serious? Look how cute this is. I love her. Also super cute. Look at the pattern. Okay, on to the last part of the closet. I just gotta go through my shoes and bags and see which ones I'm gonna get rid of. I think I'm gonna utilize this shelf right here and put all the boots in here for now because I'm not gonna need them for a little while until probably next year. So that's what I'm gonna do with the boots. And then that way it kind of clears off this bottom area anyways, just to make it more clean. Okay, I think I'm going to part with these for now. I'm gonna put them uh, in my Depop winter section. These have been in my wardrobe for so long and I'm not sure how I feel. I think I'll keep them still until next year. I like how those ones are kind of like Western vibes. 
I feel like I'll probably end up parting with these next year because I don't really, these are like good for like costume maybe, but I don't really, in, like I'm not really into them anymore. I'm kind of just over the vinyl. These also I might part with next year. I've had these for a few years, but I'll keep them for now. I've had those for a few seasons now. These are my go-to Nine West thrifted boots, so I'm gonna keep these for sure. Very essential. These also I'm going to keep for next year. I think I had these out for a styling video, but I think that these are up on my Depop because I don't think that I really want them anymore. Okay, and that's it for the boots. The only boots that I'm gonna leave out are some of my my cowgirl boots because these are good for my cowboy cowgirl boots, whatever you want to call them. For the summertime, I cannot wait to thrift. I cannot wait to thrift. Okay, shoes wise. I'm not sure how I feel about the clear toe, clear strappy shoes. They elongate your legs. They're kind of a nice cute Y2K moment. And you guys, oh, oh. they're kind of similar to the other ones that I showed you that I'm also going to be keeping. These are some of my newest additions that are from Thread Up that are so cute from Steve Madden. I love the little sparkly, very like Carrie Bradshaw. Probably had these for like six years at this point, but they're just a really good mule that are cute and leopard print. You can never go wrong with leopard print. I've also recently added these a few months ago, which I love. They're by Jeffrey Campbell. They're so bomb. I got them off of Depop. Okay, these I've had in my collection and I've worn them a few times only, so I think I'm gonna part with them. So if you want them, they'll be up on my Depop. They're really cute. I have recently just added these two pair that I'm going to be obviously keeping. These are like my Prada, which I'm going to be keeping. They're like little cute Prada mules. I'm definitely keeping them. They're super cute. These are my Manolos, which are thrifted. They're my size. I'm gonna be keeping them. I never wear them, but they're just special. They're thrifted. I don't know. They're Manolos. Come on, Carrie Bradshaw. I've recently also just added these to my collection. These are so freaking bomb. So I'm definitely going to be keeping these. Okay, let's talk about the sneakers. So I want to part with a couple pair of sneakers. The reason being is because I love sneakers, but like these are so freaking bomb and I bought them and they are in a size eight men's, which is nine and a half women's and I am a seven and a half eight women's and these are an eight men's so they're like a size and a half almost two sizes too big for me and I have done this a few times because I just love a shoe so much but I need to just part with them they're just like they look too clunky on my feet they're not comfortable because they're so big so I'm gonna sell them those were like $300 shoes so also I might be getting rid of these these are really also expensive but I think that I'm gonna sell these I'm just kind of over the neon trend a little bit like they're super fun though but I'm kind of just over it so I'm going to part with those these are I just got very essential to have in the wardrobe so i'm gonna keep these i'm just here for like more basic shoes right now i've also had these for so long i just struggle with parting with them but i never wear them so i don't know i guess i'll keep them these yeezys i'm going to keep i love these yeezys they're just like very basic so i'll keep those these i'm not sure i think i'll keep these i like the color of them and I, I'm at this point I don't really have very many colorful sneakers. I have two pair of like the same type of vibed shoes. These ones are thrifted. These are not. I should probably get rid of one of them. I think I'll probably just sell the thrifted ones just because that's the nice thing to do. My Chanel's I'm going to be keeping. These I've been thinking about getting rid of. I have not worn them. These are my Yeezy Wave Runners. I got them like three years ago now. So I think that I'll probably part with them. So since I got these leopard printed um, Air Forces, I think that I'm going to part ways with these. These are fun as well, but I think I'm going to sell these too. You know, I'm probably going to end up getting a new pair of sneakers sometime soon again. Anyway, so I feel like if I do this, that will allow me to do that. This I got from a brand called Axel Arigato, which is really cool. And they're just good to have. I like having just white sneakers. Like I always, if I'm wearing sneakers, I feel like for the most part, I wear white sneakers. That's why there's a lot of neutral sneakers here. These are cute. I was thinking about getting one of them, but honestly, I love the baby pink. So I'm going to keep them for now. And then I have these ones, which I love them. And I'm like, I'm always like, should I sell them? Because so many people are asking me. 
but I do really like these. These are funky and groovy and very like vintage looking, so I love them. Okay, the Jordans, I'm gonna keep these ones. Listen, the Jordan controversy. I had a talk with my friend the other day. We're both basketball players, like, well, we used to play basketball and like sneakers is kind of ingrained in us because we were always hoopers and like, you know, you're going to a game, you want a fresh pair of kicks to wear, like, so obviously I've kind of, I started to implement that into my fashion too, but now it's like so basic to wear a pair of Jordans with like baggy jeans and it's not that I don't like the look of it, but the Jordans now are like a thousand dollars. No, I think I will not do that because that is so expensive for a pair of Jordans. It's just like, unfortunately, YouTubers, TikTokers in general have just upped the prices a lot of the Jordans because they've become so mainstream. So I do feel really bad for sneakerheads who want to buy the Jordans because people are just buying them out left, right, and center. I do have a pair, a few pairs that I've thrifted. I thrifted these ones. I'm getting back into Converse, actually. I like these. These are new. Super cute. I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of staying away from the Jordans, even though I'll keep them. I'm going to stay away from them in a sense. Of and if I do want to rock that Jordan look once in a, every once in a while, which I will, of course, you know, with a cute dress Jordans, it's a cute look, but I just not going to Instagram it because I feel like we've seen it over and over again. I did get these though. I showed you guys, I think already, but you know, just fun little sneakers with a touch of blue. I got these not too long ago. They're Reeboks. They're kind of, they're fun, you know. I like them for like wearing with shorts. They give me a little bit of a boost. My favorites are probably, honestly, I love wearing like platforms uh, sneakers. So I keep all those. My Balenciagas, I think I'll probably sell these. They're like Air Forces with the Louis Vuitton situation. But these are cute. I'm going to keep these. These are very basic, girly. As you can see now, I love baby pink. But I just love the dad shoe. So I'm going to keep these. These are fun. Like, I like the look of these with, like, a pair of jeans. These I also really love. But I have not worn them. I got them probably, like, a year ago. But I love this color with the baby pink. These I'm going to keep these. These are fun. These are Adidas, actually. They don't really look like Adidas. So, yeah. And these are my, like, cool grays. They're just old, though. I've had these for, like, 12 years at this point. I guess I'll sell them. I don't know. They are cracking though, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just sell them for really cheap Depop. Somebody might want them. Look at all the room we have for new sneakers. I got these. I picked these up off of Depop. They're like Ed Hardy. Cute. Fun. <laughs> sweat is literally no joke on my face like it is so hot outside but my camera just died so I'm gonna end the video and I am complete with my closet clean out I'm so happy with the way things turned out I am obsessed with it and I got rid of so many things. So if you want to check out my Depop, you can definitely do so. It is Melissa8. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more fashion, thrift, and fun content like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys and I'll catch you guys in the next video.